Yep, so I decided to go ahead and splurge and get myself a new piece of test equipment. And you're looking at it right here. It's a Regal DHO 4804 800 MHz 4-channel digital phosphorus oscilloscope. No, it's not an MSO. And what MSOs are essentially is that they usually give you a function or arbitrary waveform generator. And then you get usually a limited, I would say, logic analyzer and so forth. I didn't want to go with that because I do got logic analyzers. Here's one of them. And then I also got the USB one. And then I got another mainframe one um, sitting in the back over there. So I really didn't need that. And of course, I got a very good arbitrary waveform generator and stuff. I just wanted to get a very good performing oscilloscope, essentially, and stuff like that. That will be a replacement from my analog and digital oscilloscope. And this is what I decided to go with. And the reason why I went with it is because it's noise performance. And this thing literally on the particle sensitivity goes down to the microfoot range and so forth. So this is going to be very useful. So can't wait to I kind of learn how to use everything on it. Of course, I just got it. So I'm going to have to play around with it, of course. Figure out its quirks and everything else like that. It is touch screen, so... It's going to be a learning curve for me because I'm used to having all, of course, the buttons on the actual, you know, front panel itself. And this here, you can see there's only one for the vertigo and one for the horizontal. So each of the channels, you got to select the channel and then you can, of course, change your vertigo and horizontal settings and so forth. The nice thing about this scope, too, is the fact that the high impedance and also the vitheon impedance is not just the resistor. But literally they're using two separate amplifiers for that too. So it was also one of the other reasons why I decided to go with the scope. And also the fact too that I am going to be buying some new passive and active probes for this thing. Which I did come with some um, act, I mean, passive probes already. But I'm going to go ahead and get some, you know, good active probes too as well for other projects and so forth. And I want something too that I can take portable when I decide to go out and this can use battery and everything else like that too so that was also another deciding factor on the scope but yeah I'll go ahead and play around with it get accustomed to it and so forth once I get accustomed to it then I'll do a proper review and so forth but for now I'm gonna go and play around with it and yep this will be the new tool you'll be seeing on my bench probably for many years now